Hello everyone, welcome back to part 14 of our Endless Runner tutorial series. In today's tutorial, we'll be adding a pause menu to our game. Before we dive in, you can find the download link for the UI textures I used in this video in the description below. Let's get started. In Unreal Engine, head to the Content Browser, navigate to the Runner folder, the Blueprints, and then go to the Inputs folder. Select Slide underscore IA and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it, naming the duplicate ESC underscore IA. Don't forget to save it. Now open IMC underscore Runner Default and add a new action mapping. From the drop-down, select ESC underscore IA, then click on the keyboard icon to add key binding and press the Escape key. Save it. Now, go to the UI folder in the Blueprints folder. Right-click to create a new widget blueprint, select User Widget, and name it Pause Menu underscore UI. Open it. From the Palette tab, add a Canvas panel, then add a Background Blur. In the Details tab, Set its anchor to full and the offset values to zero. Add an image from the palette tab and set its anchor to full with offset values at zero. In the details tab, expand the brush section, change the tint to blue or something similar, and set the alpha value to 0.3. Select the background blur and set the blur strength to 3. Add a vertical box from the palette tab. In the details tab, set its anchor to the center. Alignment to 0.5. Size X to 300, size Y to 400 and position Y to 100. Now, drag and drop text from the palette tab, set its anchor to the top center, alignment to 0 0.5, position X to 0, position Y to 70, Increase the font size to 70, and enable size to content. Change the text to paused and the color to red. From Palette tab add a spacer inside the vertical box, set its size to 20, duplicate it a few times, and add a button from the Palette tab. Set its size to fill in the Details tab, duplicate the button twice, and align the spacers and buttons accordingly. Drag and drop text into the three buttons, naming them Resume Options and Main Menu, and increase the font size to 28. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let's change the button image. If you want the textures I used, you can download them from the link in the description. Go to the folder where you keep your UI textures. Select the texture, go to the pause menu underscore UI, select any button, and in the details tab, expand the style section, then expand normal, hover, and pressed sections. In the normal section, click on the arrow beside the image to insert the texture. Change the draw as to image to avoid a border around the button. Right click on the normal section select copy, then right click on the hover section and paste the copied values. Go to the content browser, choose the pressed button texture, go back to pause menu underscore UI, expand the pressed section, insert the image, change the draw as to image and increase the tint brightness. Right click on the style section, copy it, select another button, right click on its style section, and paste. Do the same for the other buttons. Compile and save. If you're making the game for mobile, let's add a pause button in gameplay underscore UI. Open your gameplay underscore UI widget. First, let me make a quick adjustment to the coins indicator. Now, add a button from the palette tab, set its anchor to the top left corner, and the size X and Y to 100, and adjust its position. Import pause button textures to your UI textures folder. In gameplay underscore UI, select the pause button, expand the style section, then expand normal and hovered sections. Insert the pause texture in normal, hovered, and pressed sections. Change the draw as to image, set the image tint to something dark like blue or red for normal, hovered, and pressed sections. Rename the button to paused underscore btn and, in the details tab, scroll down to the events section. Create an on-clicked event for the button. In the event graph, from on-clicked execution pin, add a branch node. For the condition, add is game paused. From the false pin, add set game paused and check the paused box. Right-click, add Get Player Controller, then add Set Input Mode UI Only and connect the execution pins. Again, from the Get Player Controller, add Set Show Mouse Cursor and check the box. Connect the execution pins with Set Input Mode UI Only.
From set show mouse cursor, add create widget node, choose pause menu underscore UI from the drop down, and add add to viewport from the return value. Compile and save. Go to the level and press play. You can see it's working, but you can't unpause. Let's add functions to the pause menu buttons. Quit the game and go to pause menu underscore UI. Select the resume button and rename it to resume underscore BTN and rename other buttons options underscore BTN, main menu underscore BTN. Select the resume underscore BTN, then in the details tab, scroll down to the events section and create an on-clicked event. First, in the event graph, from event construct, add set focusable and enable it. Then add set focus. Now, add get player controller, then from the return value, add set show mouse cursor and connect the execution pins, enabling set show mouse cursor. From the on click node, add a branch. For the condition, add is game paused. From the true pin, add set game paused and keep it unchecked. Then, add get player controller and add set input mode game only. Again, from the player controller, add set show mouse cursor, keeping it unchecked, and connect the execution pins. After set show mouse cursor, add remove from parent. Now, select the main menu underscore BTN and add an on-clicked. From on-clicked event, add remove from parent, then add open level by object reference and choose main menu underscore map from the dropdown. Compile and save the blueprint. Now, let's make the pause menu show up when we press the escape key. Open BP underscore runner character, and in the event graph, right-click in an empty space and add ESC underscore IA input action. From the started pin, add a branch node. For the condition, add is game paused. From the true pin, add set game paused and keep it unchecked. Then, add get player controller. From the return value, add set input mode game only. And again, from the player controller, add set show mouse cursor, connecting the execution pins.
Now, select the set game paused and set show mouse cursor nodes, press Ctrl plus D to duplicate them, and connect the duplicated set game paused execution pin to the false pin of the branch node. From Get Player Controller, add Set Input Mode UI only and connect the execution pins to the Set Game Paused node that connects to the false pin of the branch node. Also, connect the Player Controller Return value to the Set Show Mouse Cursor node connecting to Set Input Mode UI only. From the Set Show Mouse Cursor node connecting to Set Input Mode UI only, add Create Widget and select Pause Menu Underscore UI from the dropdown. From the return value, promote it to a new variable and name the variable pause menu underscore UI. From the create widget return value, add add to viewport, then add set keyboard focus and connect the execution pins. Make sure to enable the set game paused and set show mouse cursor nodes that connect to the false pin of the branch node. Add get pause menu underscore UI variable, from it, add remove from parent, connecting the execution pin to set show mouse cursor node that connects to set input mode game only. Go to the level and press play. Now press the escape key to check if the pause menu shows up. If the menu doesn't go away when you press escape, it's because when the pause menu shows up, the game switches to UI only mode, and the inputs don't work. To make the pause menu hidden, we have to create an override function in pause menu underscore UI. So exit the game and open pause menu underscore UI. Then go to the event graph. In the My Blueprints tab on the left, in the Functions section, you will find a drop-down menu saying Override. Select it, then click on on key down function. Move the return node away from the function. Now, go to unkey down node, add get key node from the unkey event pin, add equal node, click on the keyboard icon, and press the escape key. From the boolean pin, add a branch node. From the false pin, add a return node, and from the return value, add unhandled. From the true pin, add another branch node. For the condition, add is game paused. Now, go to the event graph, go to the on clicked, resume underscore btn, then copy the nodes after the branch nodes. Go back to the on key down function, paste the nodes after the branch node, and connect them to the true pin of the branch node. Finally, connect the last node pin to the return node and from the return value of the return node, add handled. Compile and save. Go to the level and press play. As you can see, it's working fine, and the buttons are also working. Some of you are having issues when starting the game from the main menu, with inputs not working. To fix it, in runner underscore map level blueprint, near event begin play, add get player controller, from it, add set input mode game only and connect the execution pin with event begin play. Compile and save it. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you encounter any errors or need assistance, feel free to contact me via email or Discord. You can find the details in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.